think I started the whole idea of writing the book thief just from it was the stories that I knew that my mum and dad were these great storytellers they told us their stories when we were growing up and that was sort of embedded into me it was like a a language I, I didn't know I had and uh, I started writing the book and and just followed my own vision and it became this sort of force all of its own. The book thief came out in a period pretty much between 2005 and 2006 and and when I think about the success of the book I, I think of it in all sorts of different terms and so it's just been a real gateway to the world for me in that I've gone to see amazing things I mean not least seeing the seeing the film being made in Berlin you know it's just incredible and uh, it, let alone a lot of other countries that I've, I've been able to see and sometimes it's just the littlest thing it's sort of like my dad coming up to me and you know swearing at me and calling me something and saying oh you you know I finished the book and you made me cry and uh, and that's a really nice moment and that to me is is was one of the most successful moments of the book for me. I was never really approached, actually, to, you know, no one said, oh, we'd really love to make a film. It was just sort of seemed to be something that happened. And uh, I was in New York when the book first came out in America and it, this sort of news came through that the book was, was going to be optioned and possibly made into a film. And like most writers, I just sort of thought, ah, oh, nothing's going to happen. They're never going to make the movie. And then suddenly you're sitting here answering questions about it. And I think what I loved about Karen Rosenfeld in particular was just that she she took the the book on and then she didn't rush things I felt like they've done everything right you know they filmed it in Germany they didn't you know they didn't do anything in a way that was cutting any corners and and I really liked that and she also told me a story about the fact that her mum had read the book and she she was saying to her all right if you make this movie don't screw it up and I just kind of like those sort of moments and and it's, it's often about just can be just one little thing in a conversation that says, oh, th I really like these people and, and I'm happy for them to go ahead and, and make this and it gives you that little bit of confidence. When it came to Brian directing, it in a way, again, it had nothing to do with the book or the material in the book and or even his past work, which I'd loved anyway. It was more just when we met, he was just so genuine and probably the best story I can tell is we left each other, I and mean, just as we said goodbye, we were coming down in an elevator in Chicago, and uh, he just pulled me a bit closer and said to me, I'm not gonna let you down. And I loved the integrity of that moment and just how genuine he was. And I thought, again, this is the sort of person I'd love to be involved with, uh, you know, with this book and with this film, it was really nice. And he also, showed the importance of making a moment out of something. He could have just said, yeah, see you later, nice meeting you, but he made something of it. And, and I guess that's the job of a storyteller or a director. And uh, that gave me a lot of confidence and it's something I'll always remember. I think the stories and the books help the characters in, in, the, in the story survive as much as typical things like food and clothing and I think it's as, just as essential to them because that's what we stay alive for is uh, other stories that happen to us and uh, and I think the fact that they share that in such extreme circumstances is there's there's so much at stake that the stories mean even more. I really loved meeting the cast and I can start with Jeffrey and Emily because they were just so genuine in everything they did and said. It was like talking to old friends. That's what they were like and that's how they treated me and that was really special. And Jeffrey was really funny in that he'd talk to me about the book endlessly and so sort of ask me questions and he'd say, you know those two songs that Hans plays on the accordion? To the point where I was saying, I think, I think this guy knows the book better than I do. I think even though obviously the film is set in, in a dark period of history, I think people will find it moving because the characters are still people and they somehow find some sort of beauty and selflessness within themselves to, to do amazing things. And ultimately that's what the book is about. And it's, it's their love of stories that, that get them through. 
And, and I think that's what always attracted me to, to writing the book. And I also hope that's what will attract people to, to seeing the film as well. Books are such an important art form in a way. And I always think of books being a little bit tougher in a sense in that you've got to sit down and you've got to do a little bit of work. But the rewards are so great because when a book opens up to you, it is you and that book. And there's, there's something really special about that, that you're reading words and you go beyond the mechanics of words and turning pages. And it's always that nice thing when you feel like you're turning pages and you don't even realise it. And that's what I've always loved about books. And, uh, and that's why I think they'll never disappear from our lives. And that's a good thing.